Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about authoring notebooks in Azure Machine Learning by creating Python scripts. Before we dive in, make sure you have an Azure Machine Learning workspace set up with an existing compute instance. If you need help with that, I highly recommend checking out my playlist on Azure ML Fundamentals for step-by-step -step guide to get you started. All right, let's get rolling. Step one will be open terminal and update Azure AI ML. First, head over to notebook under the authoring section in your Azure ML workspace and open the terminal. Here we are going to uninstall and reinstall the Azure AI ML package to make sure we have the latest version. Just to note, I'll be skipping this step since I've already done the package upgrade. But if you need to do it, you can run the command pip uninstall Azure hyphen AI hyphen ML and then pip install the same. Once this is done, we can move to creating our files. Step two that is set up the folder structure. Let's create a folder called get started. Inside this folder, we'll create a Python file. So let's do that. Now I'm going to name my Python file as hello world.py and make the format as .py file. Now I'm going to create another folder inside get started and call it src source. And I'm going to move my Python file inside this folder. Now this is going to be a very straightforward Python file. So inside the file, I'm just going to print hello world. And the idea is to use a control script to run this Py script, which basically just prints hello world. So we can run the script by this clicking on this button. And what it will do is it will run the command python hello world.py on terminal and show the output of the script. Now inside get started and outside source, I'm creating a script, again a python script and I'm calling it control script. So this is again going to be .py. I'll quickly delete this and make sure that the format is .py and not python notebook. Now for guidance on control script, you can follow along the official document. The link will be in the description of this video. And all we need to do is pick the code for create handle to workspace and drop it on our Python script. Now this piece of code is all about configuring on what machine, uh, on what client you want to run your script on. It could be a compute instance and it could as well be a compute cluster. For now, we are using a compute instance and we need the details of that compute. So in order to get that, let's add the code to get the workspace. So I'm going to do WS for workspace as the new variable and that will store workspace dot from config. Now, instead of manually putting this, we just need to replace this with these line of code where we are just filling it automatically by from the variable WS that automatically extracts the compute that's active in this workspace. Now let's hold for a while and understand what we are doing exactly here. First of all, on line 23, make sure you have adjusted the script to the correct compute name. For me, the compute name is Aditosh0071. But for you, just check your compute name and put it down here. Now let's break down some of the important parts of this control script. Line 15 to 20 is the ML client. This part manages your Azure machine learning workspace, assets and computes resources. On line 24, the command is used for this command line is used to set up a job to run hello world.py as a part of a pipeline. On line 32, we are doing job submission. This submits your script as a job to Azure machine learning, which is pretty cool. Now we can run this script just like we did the previous one. And 
on the terminal it will it is showing an error so it's saying that workspace is not imported so we need to do that so let's quickly do that from azure ml.core import workspace and that will be it let's run another error and this time it says command is not recognized so let's fix that immediately so we do need to import command from azure ai.ml and let's run now so we have the output and we do have a link now as well and all we need to do is click on this link to open the pipeline so let's go ahead and do that so this opens a new tab and it's bringing me to the jobs tab and here i can see that the status is completed because it was a pretty straightforward script however it did take around 10 seconds for us and that's completely fine because running a pipeline has overheads like it has to prepare a docker image and resize the image but when the scripts are like really actual scripts where we are training the model instead of just saying hello world these overheads tend to not uh, cost us at all but in this case particularly yes we are seeing 10 seconds for just printing hello world now to check out the output we just need to go to output plus logs and in the standard logs.txt we have the output hello world and that's a wrap on a tutorial on authoring notebooks in azure machine learning by creating python scripts I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more great content on Azure ML and machine learning topics. Your support really helps me create more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you in the next video.